Hi everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. So the company One Day Saving contacted me again and they asked me to review a couple of items. So I picked out a ball winder and a project bag. So they're in here. So I'll be opening this and um, I'm going to do um, a review on the ball winder. I'm going to try it out and everything and show you guys how it works and if it works good. Any other information such as the links to these two items will be below. Um, if you click on them, it'll take you to the pricing and uh, that. And there'll be a coupon code as well below that will give you 5% off your order. So um, I'm not I'm not affiliated. I don't get anything if you buy anything. Um, I did get these products for free though to show them on my channel and I got to pick them out myself. So I thought you guys might be interested in a ball winder. And this project bag, according to the picture, is um, pretty darn nice. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. Okay. I'm gonna open the ball winder first. Okay, they call it a wool winder. And that's it. It is very similar to the one I have, but I did not get mine through one day saving. All right, let's see. It's made in China. There's nothing else on it, but that picture there. All right, so this is taped. All right. So let's take a look at what we have. All right, I'll just show you. This is what's in the box. There's some extra little goodies in there. Okay. Okay. So here it is. All right, let's see what this knob is for. Um, okay. Oh, that is to, to fasten this to a table. Yeah, so you can hook it on your table and tighten it up. Sorry, my fingers are right in the way. So you can tighten it up. Yeah, okay, so we're going to try that out on the table. And this is to turn your, your wheel thing. This is to hook, let's see. Have to see how that works. It's to thread your yarn through. So it'll go on your uh, winder. We'll see how that works. All right, and then this piece should just clip on here. There, it's on. Feels pretty sturdy. All right. Uh, there are, so that's, that's, that's it right now. <laughs> All right, so in the box is this paper, how to use wool winder. Yeah, so it explains it on here. Okay, so there's these little things. What are these called? It says knitting needles, but <laughs> these things. Um, I've never used these. Do you know what they're for? And, oh my. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen these before. I've definitely, oh, there's a little bag. Definitely seen these. There's some darning needles in here. There's some stitch markers. So there's big darning needles. There's three. And then there's smaller ones. Yeah. And then there's some different types of stitch markers. There's like, I guess they're common ones and then there's these other ones 
that are, hmm. I don't know. These can be used for crochet too, right? Or knitting? I don't, I'm not sure. But I haven't had these before. That's nice. All right, so let's hook it up to the table and I'll grab a ball of yarn and let's check it out. All right, I have it connected to my table. Um, there is something I want to point out. Um, I, I tightened the clip that I had showed you, the metal clip. It will work on a thickness of 1.4 inch um, wide table. So if your table is thicker, it's not going to work. It's not going to fit. You won't be able to clamp it on. Okay, and this that you feed the, the yarn through, it just flops around. But what you do to make it stand up is it says to, in the instructions, to pull it out as far as you can. And there it stand, stands up. Okay. So now I have a cake of yarn here <laughs> that's a kind of messy. And yeah, so I'm going to re-cake it. So let's do that. Hope you can see, oops, sorry about the camera. Happens all the time. All right, so um, this is a glass table. It looks like it's floating in the air. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wrap the yarn. You can put it right through that hole or you can just put it behind, like in between these two metal things here. And then you just go in a um, clockwise position. And there it is in the hole. Okay, so these slots up here are to put this through. A lot of you probably know this, but maybe somebody that doesn't have a ball winder that's watching. Just got to pull that out further, I guess, and leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to start winding. Okay, so you want to wind in a clockwise position. Okay. Let's throw this ball on the floor so that I can just not have to stop too much. Oh, it works very well. I always hold, see how I'm holding my yarn? I always hold it like this to give it a little bit of tension. And um, I hold it up a little. You know, I can rest my arm on the table and hold it like this. And then it just, I just find it's easier to control the yarn and get it around that, that winder um, so that it doesn't... Maybe, you know, it's, a more, it's more of a centered um, ball that you're making. It doesn't go up or under below. Yeah, it's just something I learned along the way. Okay, so, oh, I got a knot. So it's working very well, except for that knot in my yarn. Okay. Mm hmm there we go let's do this normally I don't throw the yarn on the floor I uh, usually I'm sitting on the couch doing this but right now I'm in, at my kitchen table and if I have to do it here I normally would put it into a container so it's not bouncing all over the floor and the cats aren't <laughs> you know trying to get trying to take it away on me <laughs> But yeah, my camera's attached to the table too, so that's why it's shaking a bit here. But let's take a look. Wow, this works really well. It's not that loud. So I'm just going to finish this ball off, uh, off camera. All right, it's all wound up. Now, as I was winding it, um, I noticed this. Um, it actually, let me pull the camera back. It actually kind of... Moved around, wiggled around. 
Um, it could be because I have it on a glass table and it's more it's smoother so it's slipping. You can actually get those, uh, what are they? They're like a rubber thing like this. Um, I don't know what people use them for. They're a kitchen thing anyway. They're a rubber thing. And uh, I don't even know where mine is. But, oh yes I do. It's under my, here, let me just take you over here. It's one of these. It's just a rubber thing. It's in the kitchen area. At, this was, I think I got these at Dollarama or Bargain Shop a long time ago. But I just put it on there. This is holding my gadget for filming. But yeah, it, uh, so it's rubber, so it'll hold your your machine in place. Yeah, I just wanted to share that little tip. Alright. So I'm just going to tuck this under. Okay, so then you just... Uh, Just pull it off. <laughs> thing fell over. <laughs> okay, so it's not a bad looking cake. Yeah. So it works really well. It works very well. It's not too noisy and yeah, I like it. Okay. So, it'll be linked below if you're interested in it. And uh, actually, I'll put the price on the screen of what it is in Canadian funds. Okay, and then let's go look at the um, project bag. All right, let's check out the next item. What is this project bag? about the crinkling. Ooh, okay. It's very uh, soft, smooth fabric. Oops. Wow. <laughs> That's a nice size. All right, so let's look at what's on here. For, for the pictures. Now I see something on here that we don't always see. Crochet hooks. Quite often, I, I myself anyway, see balls of yarn with needle, uh, knitting needles through them, but crochet hooks? Hmm, that's what drew me to this bag. Yes, because I don't see that very often on bags. Do you? It's okay. I like it. I like the look of it so far. Oh, look, a llama. A llama or whatever it is, alpaca. <laughs> All right, so let's, um, I'll show you the pictures better on here. This is a pretty nice size. Oh, handle. So there we go, a skein of yarn, a heart with a crochet hook through it. You see that? Right here. <laughs> That's really cool. All right. So this is a very nice bag. Okay, so let's uh, see how this goes. It has a, does it have a flat bottom? Okay, it actually does have a flat, flat bottom. It's folded, so you know, I have to be straightened out a bit. On the outside, maybe that will stand. On the outside, it has these pockets, two big pockets. And on the other side, same thing. Two big pockets. And you could probably, oh look. And this is not like a complete cake. Well, it could be a small one, but it is, uh, it fits outside pocket. Wow, that's good. 
right? Let's look at the sides. Oh, sides. Uh, I'll go back here in a bit. This is how the sides are. They're also square or rectangle. And there's a big pocket on that side. Wow. And on the other side as well. That is really, really nice. All right, let's look, um, let's look inside. Wow, okay. Inside, it's lined. And we got two pockets on that one side and two pockets on the other side. They're nice and deep. This bag is pretty deep. There's a zipper closure. Stitching is really nice on here. This is good quality. Nice zipper. Okay, so let's see. Um, and it's kind of, well it is, it's open here at the end of the zipper at the top on both sides. So I'm thinking, you know, when you're riding in the car, not when you're driving, but when you're riding, <laughs> you can have your ball of yarn in there with the end of it coming out, have this sitting on the floor, and just crochet right from this bag, and your ball will be controlled in the bag. That is very cool. And it's got these handles. Wow. Okay. Let me just... Go over here and then. Wow, that is really nice. Really nice. Oh. Wow, I am so, so impressed with this bag. <laughs> yeah. People might be thinking it's just a bag. No, no, no. It's more than a bag. <laughs> For us crafters, or us crocheters, and I don't knit, but. You knitters out there, <laughs> this is a, such a beautiful bag. It almost, you know what, it feels like it's washable. Like, I mean, if you get, you spill something on it, you could wa probably wash this off with a wet cloth. That's the kind of material it feels like. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I love this bag. All right. So I am gonna put a price on the screen. And um, so that is my review. Again, it's from One Day Saving. And thank you, Ermine was the, the lady uh, that I was speaking, um, emailing. <laughs> thank you so much for sending me these products. And I like both of them. Ball winder works good. The bag is beautifully made. And it has crochet hooks on it. <laughs> How can you grow? How can you grow? How can you go wrong? All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you being here. Make sure you subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and like if there's anything in the video you like and uh, it really helps. It really helps us as uh, content creators. So do it with all your favorite channels. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.